this. This sketchbook contains a whole bunch of stories from when I was in Tokyo the last time. Hi, I'm Iku. And no, I'm not a minimalist. I was supposed to be living in Tokyo right now. I was supposed to move there a few months ago, studying at a language school until our dear friend Rona came along. So right now I'm in my empty flat in Brussels, trying to bide my time until travel is made possible again. Hopefully I'll be moving to Tokyo sometime in the future, fingers crossed. But while I'm waiting, I've been rereading my old travel diaries and reminiscing about my time abroad. So even though this particular illustrated diary has been made available for you to read on Etsy, there are still some untold stories or just some stories that we should all just reminisce together from that wonderful time abroad. If you don't remember or if you're new here, I have two separate travel playlists. The first time I went to Japan for almost a month in I think it was 2017 and the more recent time when I went just to Tokyo for about two weeks and a lot of things went wrong. But today I'm going to be telling you one of the semi-featured stories in this illustrated diary. But first, before we move on, I want to take the time and thank my Patreon squad for all their support this month, especially in these difficult times. Which is why recently I've totally revamped my Patreon page. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. I made sure that there are rewards worthy of every single tier. And honestly, at this point, every little help. So right now what I'm going to do is the $1 Patreon shoutout challenge where my patrons choose a challenge that I have to do while I shout out every single patron that is signed up for that month. Luckily for me, we are still a small squad. I'm gonna get myself in a plank position and shout out every single patron. So if you're interested in joining the squad and making things a little more difficult for me, link is in the description down below and rewards start from one dollar. Let's go. I want to say thank you to every single one of my patrons this month for their support. I really, really appreciate it. So thank you to Chad and Mahala, Jake Penn, uh, Kenji Swift, oh my god, I can't remember anymore, Richard Fujinami, Bill Khan, and Nanu. Thank you for your support. It was very, very much appreciated. Yeah, I should have worn that. Right, on page two of the 1.5 illustrated diaries. Right at the bottom left side corner, there is a tiny, tiny, tiny mention of an untold story, which is the eraser story. That day, I was walking through the streets of Shibuya, hitting up a few of the stores on my list. I'm pretty sure I was in Shibuya, even though I didn't write this down on the actual Shibuya page in my diary, but I'm pretty sure because I remember starting the day early to get a proper seat to watch the Scramble Crossing while enjoying my first ever Starbucks matcha latte. <clears throat> it was good, don't judge. The plan was to draw in my sketchbook, watch the morning crowd, and map out my day in that area of Tokyo. There were a few stores I wanted to go to, and since it was supposed to be a rainy day, tending to a wee bit of shopping felt like the right thing to do. One of the shops on my list was the Depachika in Shibuya Hikari. If not too crowded, yes I know, that's an oxymoron. If not too crowded, I love walking through the fancy Depachikas just to stare, not true, just stare, I swear. Stare at the beautiful, I can't believe that's food, food. I can't remember why this particular one was on my list, but I did my exploring, bought a Mikan Daifuku, which really shouldn't have been a thing in my opinion, and finally, finally realized that it looked like I had just snogged the Hulk. Damn it, Hachiko, you could have said something, I thought we were friends. The next stop was the massive Don Quixote, which should just be renamed Overwhelming Claustrophobia. I don't even remember if I bought anything, or if I just spent 30 minutes searching for the exit, fighting the urge to climb on top of a shelf to get a bird's eye view of the place. Finally, I made my way to Tokyo Han's stationery department because, I mean, have you met me? And that's where, you guessed it, the eraser incident happened. Ladies and gentle peeps, have you ever been faced with this situation before? 
to peacefully doodling, building your drawing from pencil strokes to masterpiece. When you realize one teeny weeny ickle fickle detail that's just ever so slightly out of place, you try to move on, ignore it, but it keeps on staring right back at you. But erasing it now would be like practicing meticulous open heart surgery with a kitchen knife, but wait, what's this? The teeniest eraser head you've ever seen before in your life? You must have it to own it. Add it to your art fundamentals, will one be enough? Refills, must get refills and I- Aha. Uh -huh. So my Japanese speaking skills aren't great. My asking a shop assistant for some information skills, also not great. But I needed that eraser and I wasn't walking away without those refills. Yes, that is how I asked. I can only imagine what was going on inside that poor girl's head at this point, but I stood my ground and smiled apologetically. Thank God I no longer had Hulk clips. And after appearing flustered for a few seconds, she... <laughs> she got on the phone to call someone over, which, <laughs> if you know me, was the last thing I wanted her to do. As a child, I taught myself to walk on tiptoe, which permanently messed up my feet because I hate making a nuisance of myself. And now, not only did I bother one person, she was now calling someone over. My heart dropped. At any moment now, another salesperson was going to appear and- I swear. At the minute where probably a manager was silently staring at that damn eraser, that damn Geshikomu, felt like an eternity. It was so intense, my guilt meter was peaking. I didn't know how to say, never mind, I'll just buy it in Japanese. But then, with a nod, my query was confirmed, and it was just me and the first girl staring apologetically at each other. Now, of course, the story doesn't quite end there. It's not enough that I'm the foreigner with the dumb questions holding up the line. I'm also the foreigner paying with a mysterious card that this poor girl did not know how to process. This time, her colleague was around to help, thank God. But of course, I couldn't save the last of my dignity by leaving quietly because the second I turned my back and started to walk away, the two shop assistants were calling after me, shouting Boshi, Boshi, and waving my gray hat around. Poor Boshi. So that was the eraser story from the 1.5 Japaniku Illustrated Diary. If you like that type of story and my natural everyday awkwardness and clumsiness, there's a lot more from where that came from in the Illustrated Diaries out on Etsy, but also in my travel vlogs on this channel. It's not something to panic about, but when you're not that good at communicating and you have social anxiety and you're in a foreign country where you can't really communicate properly more than usual, things are just amplified and you end up getting so flustered. Well, at least in my case, let me know how you would have done in this situation. I know there are probably people who just do not get what I went through at that time. For the other half who have social anxiety like me, please relate to this incident so I don't feel so goddamn awkward. <laughs> I mean, looking back at it now, it's hilarious, it's a good story, it's content, but I wonder how you would have managed the situation and how it is in your own country. Are people going to these kind of lengths to answer customer questions? Because where I live, yeah, it wouldn't have gone down that way at all. <laughs> I don't think. Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, Again, if you're interested in a digital copy of the Illustrated Diaries, the links are below. And if you want a signed copy, check out my Patreon rewards. If you enjoyed this type of video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. That way I know that maybe I should plan for another type of illustrated story time in the future. Not right away, a little bit in the future, because this type of video is a lot of work. So let me know, please, if you enjoyed it. That way I don't bust my ass for something that you might not enjoy. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up.
or thumbs down just let me know if you want to help out and grow this community consider following me on instagram that is where i communicate the most with you guys and get to know you guys through my instagram stories mostly i post updates more there than on twitter or anything so consider following me there and uh, if you want to chat to me directly we have a discord linked down below in the description check the links in the description anyway there might be something interesting for you there are some pretty neat things in there <laughs> anyway thank you so so much for watching for being there for communicating with me and supporting me in these frustrating and complicated times so i hope i can be here for you by entertaining you and just trying to be there generally so at l word you all i hope to see you very very soon keep in touch i hope you're okay bye